A progression of coffins inside the Virgin Mary Church on the outskirts of Cairo. The family members of eight different victims brought together by a gunman killing in the name of ISIL. This is the suspected attacker. It's believed he's wearing a suicide vest. First, he shot at a Christian-owned shop before moving to Cairo's Coptic Mamina Church. He opened fire on civilians and police officers outside. A witness said people inside closed the doors when they heard the shots. Thank God they locked the door. There were hundreds inside. If they didn't close the door on time, it could have been worse than the attack in the Rauda Mosque in Sinai. Relatives pieced together what had happened as they met outside the hospital. One woman was killed when she tried to help the attacker, thinking he had fallen over. They say he saw a cross dangling from her neck and shot her. She was asking him in the name of Christ, did something happen to you? She was worried about him. She gives him love and tenderness and peace. Is this what they meet peace with? With gunfire? You meet peace with gunfire? As the ambulances left the funeral with their loved ones inside, they were accompanied by armoured vehicles in a sign of increased security for Christians here. It's the latest in a number of attacks on the Christian minority in Egypt, which represents about 10% of the population. The problem is that there is no clear counter-terrorism and counter-insurgency policies uh, so far uh, dealing with this uh, threat. And for a while, Egypt has been just continuing the same blunders and the same mistakes. Egypt has been under a state of emergency since April when suicide bombings struck two Coptic churches, killing at least 45 people on Palm Sunday. ISIL also claimed responsibility for that attack. The government deployed more security forces outside churches this month in anticipation of attacks over Christmas. On New Year's and during our Christmas, every holiday, every holiday they send us these gifts. Oh God, you are vengeful. Egypt's Christians have long accused the authorities of not doing enough to protect them.